Location Modeling for Post-Nuclear Refuge Bunkers. Before arriving at this project, we first explored brain-computer interfaces for human authentication systems. However, we did not find this could be impactful enough given our knowledge and experience. Shifting our focus to the original interest of civilization refuges for nuclear winter, we contacted experts like Oliver Horn, who highlighted the lack of logistics like location and people. After a literature review, we noticed a lack of definitive research into potential nuclear winter bunker locations, and specifically none creating mathematical models. Additionally, this project aligns with our long-term interests and plans. For Vladen, it was interesting to explore the engineering behind the bunker to decide parameters like sheer strength of soil, and the physics aspect interested me. For both of us, the mass modeling was highly relevant. In terms of impact, nuclear war is one of the top three most pressing issues on 80,000 hours, and bunkers are highly necessary to contribute to the pragmatic preservation approach, attempting to save 1% or even smaller of the global population to allow population to rebuild. Developing a location model maximizes the chance of survival for bunkers, effectively maximizing chance of humanity survival if done well enough. By creating a mathematical model, tackling this problem becomes far more tractable. The manual approach of comparing individual locations in a written form, like current research is attempting to, is far more time-consuming and less effective. The specific area of a problem was highly neglected, as mentioned in the last slide, speaking to Ulrich. We believe the reason we have avoided the common issue that arises in neglected projects of reinventing the wheel, as Peter suggests, is that we have used a combined extensive research done into both location modeling and nuclear winter, but separately into model to maximize the project's impact and tractability. Ultimately, this model will produce a suitability index for each of the locations inputted using the four steps shown here, which will rely on the concept of fuzzy logic, which allows parameters to have degrees of membership within a set, shown by a decimal value between 0 and 1. First, we have to choose the key parameters for our model, with one in the four key areas of social, geological, structural and climate, in order to demonstrate how further parameters in any of these could be incorporated. Additionally, we have a Boolean constraint of whether, of whether the location is in the blast radius of the top 25 potential target locations we have chosen, which will indicate whether the location is ultimately suitable or not. For each, we will have to standardise the input values to reflect the ideal behaviour if it's inside the radius, it is 0, and outside is 1, as it's fully suitable. However, for the others, we had to choose a membership function, like the one shown, then use anchor points, points to which further increase in input values have little effect on the factor, in order to calculate equations. For example, for temperature we chose Gaussian, as it models how changes on either side of the ideal temperature would negatively impact suitability, the gradient of which we calculated using normal distribution setting no, uh, 0 degrees equal to 0 0.025 suitability. In order to weight these factors, we first used pairwise comparison to establish their importance in relation to each other, then found the principal eigenvector of this matrix to give a weighting for each of the parameters. Additionally, we calculated the consistency ratio of these weightings, of which we got 0 0.0079, which is below the 0 0.1 threshold for re-evaluating these weightings, suggesting ours are very constant. With these, we use weighted linear combination, summing the product of the standard, standardized values and the weight for each of the factors. Then we use t-norm calculations, finding the intersection between the result for each cell and the Boolean constraint, multiplying them together to remove all locations within the blast radius as that factor equals zero, and ultimately ending up with the suitability index for each cell, which can be ranked as shown in the next example. To test our model, we use sample data for large area where the four parameters varied across it. The diagram shows a summary of a modeling process, beginning with these 100 sample raw data values. The final output of a model is shown in the grid of values on the right. These suitability values have been converted into a grayscale map using Python to mimic data presentation and geographical information softwares. From this grid, it is clear which values calculated are the best locations to look further into, with shading getting darker and therefore suitability increasing towards the top left due to the specific factor distribution in the sample location. As you can see, the model can successfully identify areas that are most suitable for bunk building. So the top left area had the lowest population density, low seismicity, and the other factors were roughly average. To conclude, we thought we'd outline the development plans we have for the model. In terms of model improvement, stage one involves including more parameters for a more accurate model, for example, implementing the other measures of ground stability apart from sheer strength. St stage two updates the model to include factors related to civilization rebuilding which would have involved looking at factors like soil fertility and habitability of the surroundings, 
as the, currently the focus of the model is only for the bunker inhabitants to survive the nuclear winter. Once these are completed, we move on to the implement, implementation, the first stage of which is running the model large scale. By starting general, then choosing a few promising locations as a result of this, and repeating these steps, we could calculate the ideal locations globally or within the spe specified area given, with extensive adjustments and improvements along the way based on the results. The final stage involves careful research, analysis and eventually testing of each of these locations, and potentially ending up with a planning and construction of bunkers in the areas that turn out to be suitable. The most immediate next step for us is to contact high impact engineers and present this research and our modeling to experts like Ulrich from earlier for critical analysis and guidance to begin the modeling improvements.